The criminal, a youth sat on the roadside begging arms, a youth strong of body, made weak by hunger. There he sat with his hands stretched forth, asking of the passers-by, entreating the charitable and bewailing his lot, and crying out against the pangs of hunger. Night fell, his lips were dry and his tongue heavy and his hands and stomach empty. Soon he rose and went outside the city and sat him beneath the trees and wept a bitter weeping. He lifted up his tear-filled eyes and his hunger spoke, saying, O Lord, I went to the wealthy seeking work and they turned me away because of my tat-teared garments. I knocked on the door of a school and they forbade me entry because my hands were empty. I sought to labor for my daily bread, but people rejected me because my star was against me. So did I come to beg. They that adore thee, O Lord, beheld me and said this one is strong and able. Charity is not for him given to sloth and idleness. My mother bore me at thy willing. Now by thee do I exist. Wherefore do people deny to me the bread that I seek in thy name? And on that very minute the countenance of that despairing man changed. He rose on his feet, and his eyes shone like a bright star. Then from the dried branches he fashioned for himself a stout club. He pointed with it toward the city and shouted, I sought life with the sweat of my brow and found it not. Now shall I take it with the strength of my forearm. I begged for bread in love's name, but no man heard me. Now shall I seek it in the name of evil. Many years passed and that youth severed necks for the sake of their adornment, and destroyed bodies to satisfy his appetite. He increased in riches and was renowned for his strength and violence. He was beloved among the plunderers of the people and feared by the law abiding. One day the Amir appointed him deputy in that town, in the manner of all princes who chose those to speak in their name. Thus do men in their greed make of the wretched criminals.